Downton Abbey, Pancake Day, and Abbey Road are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is September 26, 2022. It is the 269th day of the year. There are 96 days left in 2022. It is the 39th Monday in the 39th week and the 5th day of fall. You got 86 days until winter. If today's your birthday, you are a Libra. Today is National Pancake Day. On September 26, let's set up a tall stack of syrupy goodness to celebrate. Set the table, mix up some batter, heat up the griddle, and eat something that's probably going to make you gain some weight. I love pancakes, I love flapjacks, whatever you want to call them. They're also known as Johnny Cakes, Griddle Cakes, and Hot Cakes. I think Hot Cakes is pretty much what I grew up calling them, my family did. I don't know, I picked up pancake along the way too. When my kids were young, sometimes we, you know, we're getting ready to make dinner and they just ask for pancakes. I don't know how many times we had pancakes for dinner in my house when my kids were little. I love pancakes. All right, let's see what else September 26th has given us. Just a heads up, this one's going to be really short because I'm not doing good with sinuses. I got a sore throat and stuffed up nose, and I'm actually so stuffed up, I got that confused feeling. That's always great. 1777, the American Revolution. British troops occupy Philadelphia. 1789, George Washington appoints Thomas Jefferson to be the first United States Secretary of State. 1914, the United States Federal Trade Commission is established by the Federal Trade Commission Act. The Federal Trade Commission works to prevent fraudulent, deceptive, and unfair business practices. They also provide information to help consumers spot, stop, and avoid scams and fraud. So they don't just go after companies for the fraud and stuff, but they do things like shut down robocall companies and go after companies in the United States that have like spam emails sent out, things like that. They also go after big corporations if they're doing shenanigans with the way they're treating their employees. Right now they have a big effort to protect gig workers, like people working for Uber and Lyft and DoorDash, things like that. They're doing the research right now and they have a program going where they're, it's kind of new, so they're kind of learning about it and they're making sure these people are being treated treated properly. Recent months, they shut down this credit repair pyramid scheme thing they had going on. Some company was doing it. They shut down that and like a whole bunch of people went to jail. Very interesting. So they're basically trying to protect workers and they're trying to protect the general populace from companies. 1960 in Chicago, the first televised debate takes place between presidential candidate Richard M. Nixon and John F. Kennedy. 1969, Abbey Road, the last recorded album by the Beatles, is released. 1973, the Concorde makes its first non-stop crossing of the Atlantic Ocean in record-breaking time. Now, this is interesting. Right now, it takes about seven hours to fly from New York to London. The Concorde could make it in three and a half hours. I saw a video by the channel Vox that said you could fly over there in seven hours. Currently, the Concorde could make it three hours. And the Titanic, it took them 137 hours. Ironically, you could watch the movie Titanic in almost the same amount of time it took the Concorde to cross the Atlantic. It was a very interesting plane. I always saw it and I always wanted to take a flight on it. It was one of those things you see as a kid and it was just amazing. I always wanted to go on it, but nobody flies the Concorde anymore. 1983, Australia 2 wins the America's Cup, ending the New York Yacht Club's 132-year domination of the race. Premiered on September 26th, 2010, Downton Abbey. I was working for Netflix when this came out, and oddly enough, we had it on Netflix as it was being released. It was a big thing. I don't think they knew how big of a deal it was going to be until it got on Netflix. Then it was huge, and then they pulled it from Netflix. It was weird times. It's a PBS series, and I'm sure it belongs to some other company in England. But yeah, it's like we had it for a while while I was working there, and then all of a sudden they're all, what, people really like this? We didn't think anyone was going to like it. We're going to have to take it back and make more money off it. Anyway, this is a PBS series series about an aristocratic British family and their servants in the early 1900s. The show was created by Julian Fellows. The show won 12 Emmy Awards during its time on the air. The series ran for six seasons and aired a total of 52 episodes. I've never watched one. I just always heard it was amazing. Maybe I will someday. Born on September 26, 1972, Betta O'Rourke. Politician and businessman who is known for being the U.S. representative for Texas 16th Congressional District. He is also known for having run for the Senate in 2018 and losing in a close race to Ted Cruz. He attended Columbia University where he earned his B.A. in English Literature. He was a member of the El Paso City Council beginning in June 2005 and he ran for his first Democratic primary in 
2012. He joined the U.S. House of Representatives in January of 2013. He was also a musician when he was back at Columbia. 1993, he released an album. His father was also involved in politics and worked as a county commissioner and county judge for El Paso. Right now, he's running for the governor of Texas. Died on September 26, 2008, we lost Paul Newman, larger-than-life actor who won the Academy Award for his role in The Color of Money. His other memorable film roles included Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, HUD, and Hemingway's Adventures of a Young Man. He also voiced the character of Doc Hudson in the animated series Cars. He made his acting debut at the age of seven in a school production of Robin Hood. After a single appearance on Broadway, he was offered a movie contract with Warner Brothers. After filming The Long Hot Summer in 1958, he divorced his wife and married co-star Joanne Woodward. They remained together until his death in 2008. He had a total of six children, three with his first wife and three with his second wife. And I love all his dressing and his pasta sauce. Good stuff. Paul Newman was scheduled to make his professional stage directing debut with the West County Playhouse's 2008 production of John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men, but he stepped down on May 23, 2008, citing health concerns. In June of 2008, it was widely reported in the press that he had been diagnosed with lung cancer and was receiving treatment for the condition. Paul Newman died at his home in Westport, Connecticut on the morning of September 26, 2008. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a productive day, and be nice to each other.